you plan to use the wiki for a project or assignment. You should know that the wiki is collaborative community space for writing and editing for anyone with a UBC CWL and it is publicly available for viewing by anyone on the internet. UBC Wiki is a great space for learning how to edit a wiki using basic wiki markup. Wiki markup is the same format used on Wikipedia. In this video, we will focus on a few basics to get you started. First step, login. Second step, create a profile. Third step, upload an image, which is an optional step. Fourth step, familiarize yourself with wiki environment. And fifth step, create a new sandbox page. So let's get started with the first step. You will need to log into the wiki with your UBC campus-wide login if you want to create or edit wiki pages. So click on the CWL login button and log in. So you are now logged into the wiki. A great way to dive in and get started editing a simple page is by creating your profile page. We'll do that now. So why do we need a profile page? A profile will help other users know who you are. The user profile is flexible, so you can add the profile picture, projects that you're involved, and so on. It is almost like your own web page. So let me show you an example of the user profile page. So this is my user profile page. There's my picture, the projects I'm involved, and a link to the GitHub page and my Twitter. This helps site visitors know who am I and what I do. So let's get started with creating your profile page. To edit the user page, click on the username located at the top bar. So this is a user profile page. As you can see, you have not created user page yet, so it's not showing up anything. So to get started, click on create. As I have mentioned, Wiki uses the same format as Wikipedia. You can use the basic Wiki markup, but also you can even use the tools that can help you with editing. So let me go and type my content. And I will highlight on projects that I have been involved in. Click on the advanced and you will see that you have more options available. And click on the second level heading and it will automatically create a heading. I will also make my projects into bullet point. So to do that, I just need to highlight on each project and click on the bullet list icon and do the same with my another projects. And if I want to make each project into a link, I just highlight on it and click on the link mark. And this is an external link. And I do the same with another project. And I made these projects into a link so when users click on the link, they can see the details of the projects that I'm involved in. Then press save. And there's my headings here. And I can also see the bullet points. Now you can see the user page has become livelier. If someone visits my profile page, they will have better understanding of who am I and what I do. You can add many more things to your profile page, like images, which I will explain in the next optional step, videos and tables. You can learn more by going to help page, which is wiki.ubc.ca slash help contents and this is where I can get help if I'm stuck with something so if I go to the general help you can see that there are instructions on how to create a page or how to edit an existing page and organizing the wiki and there's also all the help articles related so for example, if I want to learn how to embed a video, I'll click on the video and then they will show you an instruction on how to embed the video. And there's more helps on links and how to add the Google form or how to add the Twitter or how to add YouTube and how to categorize things. And there are more things that you can get help from. So let's get to the next step. I'll go back to my page. So the next step is to upload an image. This is an optional step. So if you are not planning to upload an image, you can skip this step. I'm going to upload a profile picture so that people can recognize my face. So what do I do? If you want to upload an image, you need to upload an image outside of the editor by going to the gray sidebar here. And under tools, click on upload file. So upload and images. So click on select media files to share and press continue. 
If this file is your own work, click on this file is my own work. And what this means is you have to agree so that your photos will be under Creative Commons license. And if you click on use a different license, you can choose which license you want. You can make it into public domain, or you can make it to share alike, or you can make it into attribution. If you want to know more details about Creative Commons, you can go to the Creative Commons website to learn more about the license. And if this picture is not your own work, the first thing to do is to make sure that the image is Creative Commons license or public domain. Then type in the source and also of the work and select the reason why you are sure that you have the right to publish the work. In my case, this is my own photo and I have the copyright and I don't mind if my photo is Creative Commons licensed, so I will click on next. So type in the title of the work and type in what is the description of the photo. And you can also add the category so that the image is findable. So I type in photos, maybe photograph, and you can add another category, profile picture, and then go next. So you can get the embed code here. So click on the embed code. Go back to the user page that you have just created by clicking on your username and click on edit. And I'm just going to paste the embed code here. Now you can see my picture on the wiki. If you want to learn more about how to format the image, you can go back to the help page that we had gone through last time. So under help, go to images and pictures. And you can learn how to size the images and how to line the images. And now, so now you have completed the third step. So the next step is to familiarize yourself with the wiki environment. So let's go back to the main UBC wiki homepage. The wiki is divided into four sections, or in the other word, namespace. Main, which is a space to create a page related to UBC. So for example, what is UBC? Documentation, which is a space to create a page that is related to support guides or technical manuals. For example, how to use wiki. Course is a space to create a page that is related to course. For example, Mass 101. Sandbox is an experimental pages. You can use to create draft pages or experimental pages. Pages that are created through Sandbox are not searchable, but still visible by other users, as long as they know the URL of the Sandbox that you have created. When you create a page in Wiki, make sure to create the page in an appropriate namespace. So for example, if your page is an icon course, do not put in main space. Put it in course space. Creating a page in the correct namespace will help to maintain the Wiki architecture clean, but also it will make your page easily findable. So I'm going to explore what's there. So let's go to more on documentation. And I can see what's there in documentation. So I found a documentation that's related to microphone suggestion. So this is a wiki page that is created by another people. You can view the content, you can edit and contribute to the content. And if you click on history, you can check who edited the content previously, and you can add pages to the watch list. Adding pages to watch list allows you to keep track when the pages is edited or moved. It is useful when you are working on group projects using wiki. Go to the watch list menu. You can see the changes on the pages that you have watch listed. So in future, when this documentation has been edited, then it is going to be notified to you. So now we are going to the final step, which is to create a sandbox page. So now let's contribute to the wiki. Go back to the wiki homepage and click on create page. I'm going to create a page under sandbox. So I'll type in the name of the page under the sandbox and click on the create sandbox page. So as you can see, the edit interface is exactly the same as when we edit the user page in step one. So just type in the content and click on save page. So now it's published. Since it is a sandbox page, it is not searchable. But if you want to show this page to your friend, you can send the URL of this page and show it to your friend. If your friend has campus-wide login, they can edit and contribute to your wiki page. So you are done. If you need more help, there are more resources available on help section at the wiki, which is this page. Thanks for watching this tutorial. See you next time.